So over here you can see that I have an email and let's say what I want to do is I want to go around and then um, uh, view this email um, um, uh, uh, with immersive reader so that I can focus on it more. In that case you can go around and click on the three dot button right here and over here you can see that view in immersive reader is an option. If I were to go around and click right here then what happens is that it opens up the immersive reader as you can see right here. So it's loading up the immersive reader just like this and now you can see the detail right here. You can also go around over here and then click on the speaker icon to listen to it. Tutor tube. So that is what you hear. If I were to go around over here, you can play as well. Tutor tube. I hope you are enjoying learning this course with me. So that is what you have as you can see. So if I were to go around over here, you can work around with the text preference over here as well and increase and decrease the text size and even change around the font as you like as you can see. You can go around and increase the spacing as well, just like this, and choose different themes just like this as well. You can also go around and choose different themes over here. You can disable and enable the source formatting as well. So apart from that, you can go around and see the grammar options and just divide this into syllables as well. You can work around with nouns as you can see, highlight out the nouns right here, highlight out the verbs as you can see, highlight out the adjectives over here as well, and add verbs as well. So that is what you have. You can also go around and show labels right here and see what they are all uh, there. So you can also go around onto reading preferences and you can go for line focus right here while reading. Me. Sincerely. Tutor. So that is what you hear as you can see. If I were to go to reading preferences, you can show the three lines all at once as well. You can also go around with a whole paragraph and so forth. And then you can also go around and choose a language you want to translate the document to. So let's say for example, if I were to select Chinese right here, just like this, uh, and then what happens is that it'll simply select out the document right here. So by word or by document, you can simply go around and translate it as well as you can see just like this. And this is how you can utilize the immersive reader option inside of Microsoft Outlook. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.